Hi, I am Prakash Shurati. In this video, you will learn size reduction in food processing industry, basic principle, application, classification, construction and working of the size reduction equipments. First, what is mean by size reduction process? It is a unit operation in which whatever the average size of that food is reduced by the application of the specific force in which the force by application of the impact force, shearing force, attrition force and the compression force. One or more by application of this force, whatever the initial size of that food is reduced is called as a size reduction process. In this size reduction process, homogenization of the liquid product is also considered as a size reduction. The basic principle of the size reduction unit operations in which the first one is the impact force. Impact force that means to apply the single rigid force. Simple example that is the hammer mill. When we apply the specific rigid force on the surface of that food, its size reduction is carried out. The second one is the shearing force. Sharing force that means the food material or the particle which is compressed between the two edge of the specific hard surface during that the moving of that surface specifically the food are compressed between the edge and the size reduction is carried out. Then third one is the attrition force. Attrition force is act on the disc mill specifically the attrition force which is act on the specific surface that is the shearing and the attrition force which is the two force act in the disc milk size reduction process and last one is the compression force the force which is act when the food is passed between the rollers may be corrugated rollers, smooth rollers, may be vertical position or in horizontal position in which the specific this force by the combination of one or more the size reduction is carried out. The simple examples of basic principle of the size reduction in operation in food processing industry that is the impact force you can see the impact force when the impact force is applied that impact force is directly affected on a food surface at the center then shearing force the shearing force which is the mostly affected on the edge of that specific food material and the attrition force which is affected on the specific surface area that's, uh, that is the outside area of that food material and the size reduction is carried out. Benefit of the size reduction in food processing industry that means the applications. The basic, basic application is that first due to the size reduction increases the surface area to the volume ratio due to improve the efficiency of drying, dehydration, cooling, extraction that means first size reduction is done and then next drying, dehydration, cooling and extraction process is carried out then increase the efficiency of that processing. Second application is that size reduction with screening process we can achieve the specific final size of that product as per our requirement. Size reduction which is help to maintain the uniform mixing of the final ingredients. After size reduction we prepared the specific uh, mixed up product then size reduction which is help for the liquid food to homogenize to man maintain the emulsification and maintain the proper homogenized final product size reduction help to extraction of the specific uh, juice pulp and uh, whatever the specific uh, component from that food after the size reduction these are the main benefits of the size reduction in the food processing industry. The specific application of the size reduction in food processing sectors. The first one is the milling of the cereal grains. The second one is the wet and dry milling processing, spices milling, pulse and nut grinding process, 
सॉसेस पेस्ट चॉकलेट रिफाइनिंग कॉन्चिंग प्रोसेस देन मिल्क पल्प जूस प्रिपरेशन प्रोसेस इन विच द स्पेसिफिक होमोजेनाइजेशन ऑफ द मिल्क देन होमोजेनाइजेशन ऑफ द पल्प द स्पेसिफिक प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट नंबर ऑफ फूड प्रोसेस इन इंडस्ट्री इन विच द साइज रिडक्शन मिक्सिंग दीज आर द मेन यूनिट ऑपरेशन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट theory of size reduction in operation first when the food is applied force for the size reduction force applied per unit area is called as a stress when applied the stress resulting strain is formation strain that means change in length with respect to the original length when the stress is applied proportionally strain is formation on that food specifically depending on their physical property of that food in this graphical representation you can see the specifically stress is applied with respect to the strain is change in which the stress is proportional to the strain up to the specific elastic limit and after that the formation of the yield point that means above the elastic limit the permanent deformation of that uh, food is formed and if we applied the more force above the yield point then resulting break or the size reduction of that food is done during the size reduction process whatever the internal energy is present which is released in the form of the in, in the form of the heat or in the form of the sound and the size reduction is done the number of size reduction equipments are available the major equipments which is used in the food processing industries these are the classified into three groups first that means the size reduction of the fibrous food fibrous foods that means the fruits and vegetable related in which the slicing flaking dicing shredding juice and the pulp extraction equipments then second size reduction of the dry foods in which the ball mill rod mill disc mill hammer mill and the roller mill these are the major equipments and last one is the size reduction of the liquid foods in which the homogenization equipments high speed mixer pressure homogenizer ultrasonic homogenizer and the collider mill these are the main categories of the size reduction equipments the first one is the size reduction of the fibrous foods in which involving size reduction of the fruits and vegetable products the main terms that means whatever the food that food is converted into the a uh, size reduction process that means first that is the slicing process converted into the slice and after that uh, slicing process they convert into the strips as per our requirement they may be converted to the cubes in this single unit operations or the single equipments we can convert into the different uh, uh, shapes by only change the blades in which the dicing process mincing or maybe chopping process or the maybe flaking process as per our requirement we can achieve the size reduction of the fibrous foods the second term in the size reduction of the fibrous foods is that extraction of the fruit juice or the whatever the extraction of the fruit pulp from the fruits and vegetables in which the main equipments that is the first juice expeller used for the extraction of the juice and the second one is the pulper machine which is used for the extraction of the pulp from the fruits in the juice expeller machines which is typically constructed as a tapered shape in which it internally fitted with the rotating screw and also provided half section with the perforated screen for the extraction of the juice in the perforation the size of the perforation is 0.5 mm perforations in which the may be operated by hand may be operated by automatic system the as per the our processing capacity they varies in which outlet section there should be the provision that is the adjustment as per our requirement internal pressure can be maintained to extract the juice from the fruits or maybe uh, whatever the vegetables in which the pressure is developed uh, that is the low pressure to high pressure is developed by moving the screw in between the tapered uh, casing then second that is the pulper in which the pulping machines the internally provided centrally shaft the shaft 
connected with the blades and the brush maybe two or four blades flat blades and the two or more flat brush which is connected to the centrally mounted shaft and externally provided completely a cylindrical perforated screen which is the perforation 1 mm to 1.5 mm as per our requirement whatever the fruits visibles in the pulping process first they are properly pre processed then cut and feed directly into the hopper internally they are scraped and continuously whatever the pulp pulp which is the extracted and the pulp is passed from the screen and the remaining other seeds and the peels which are the discharge from the another sections you can see this is the typical process in which the hoppers they the waste are uh, outlet section and whatever the pulp which is the extracted which is removed from the pulping process number of designs are available in the pulping equipments may be in uh, operated into the two pulpers that means the top one is the pulper and second bottom is the finisher at the top that is the only pulp is extracted that is the perforation is 1.5 and at the bottom that is the finishers which is remove the whatever the remaining containing the fibers from that pulp or internally containing uh, small fibers material to smoothing the pulp which is used the perforations at the range of 1 mm the perforation screen which is replaced as per our requirement next second one is the size reduction of the dry foods in which first example that is the ball mill the ball mill in which it is consist of the hollow cylindrical cell is the hollow cylindrical cell which is the rotate in their own axis these are the supports two supports in which may be fixed into the complete horizontal position or slightly in inclined position may be operated into the batch wise or as per our continuous in which the internally fitted with the different diameters of the balls may be a small size medium size and large size ball which is the fitted up to 30 to 50 percent of the total internal volume the balls which are rotated during the rotation of the cylinder in which the basic application you can see the speed of the rotation must required to maintain below the critical speeds you can see in this uh, photo if the speed is lower then whatever the balls these balls are move slightly on with with the rotating cylinder and they are again returned at the bottom if the speed is lower than the critical speed then balls are move due to the centripetal force along with the cylindrical cell and after that due to the gravitational force they are drop at the center and the impact force is carried out if the speed of the rotation is more than the critical speed then the due to the high centripetal force balls are move along with the cylindrical cell and the impact force is does not occur you can see how to size reduction is occurred in this ball mill the internally whatever the cylindrical cell they are completely lined with the hard material provided with the inlet outlet sections may be provided with the screen for the inclined position fixed the ball mill the main application of the ball mill for the size reduction of the food colors for the size reduction of the chocolate based compounds in which the chocolate size reduction refining process coca mass spread peanuts and the other fat based food product in which the their size reduction is carried out the basic main ball mills in which the balls which are used for the food application is stainless steel this is an example of the balls in which the chocolate refining process prepared chocolate mass with added other ingredients they are first size reduction is carried out and then all ingredients are mixed into the single tank in which the tank loaded with the as per the required number of the balls then external provided steam jacketed kettles 
for the specific maintain the internal temperature then continuously mix the to achieve the proper size reduction of the final product next second example for the size reduction of the dry foods that is the attrition mill or also called as a disc mill in which disc are used maybe into the horizontal position or into the vertical position disc which are made of the metal disc stone or maybe cement you can see this is the example this is the cement base metal base may be operated into the horizontal position or maybe vertical position basic principle is that size reduction is achieved by the application of attrition force and the shearing force specific application in the dry food ingredients in which the sugar starch cocoa powder then roasted nuts cereal grain milk process then spices milling whatever the dry ingredients which are converted into the powder in which the number of types single disc double disc pin and disc milk in which first example in the single disc milling process in which the first that is the stationary disc and the second one is the rotating disc the rotating disc which is the connected with the shaft and the shaft connected with the pulley then pulley is con connected with the power transmission devices and the electrical motor in which the hopper whatever the feed material which is the feed with the control rate and uh, internally with the with this rotating shaft provided with the spring to convey the material into the center of that uh, rotating disc and the stationary disc in this disc mill you can see this is the stationary disc and this is the rotating disc feed material from hopper into the center and resulting will get the size reduction of that product in which the stationary and rotating disc high shearing force is created because one disc is in stationary position and second one is the rotating with the high speed due to the attrition and the shearing force both are created and the size reduction is achieved then second other type that is the double disc mill in which both disc provided with the connected with the shaft and provided power transmission devices they may be rotate at the same speed or the different speed in opposite direction in which the as per our requirement high shearing force is created feed material from the top and the resulting we get the size reduction is done in which the both are rotating in opposite direction then high shearing and attrition force is occurred and last one is the pin and disc mill in which the similar to the single or double mill may be uh, into the two pin and disc mill or the single pin and disc mill in which the disc fitted with the pins resulting produce more attrition and the shearing force specifically used for in the coarse milling process uh, for the in uh, dal production process and as per our specific uh, requirement of the final product size we can use for a single or double or maybe pin and disc mill for the size reduction of the dry foods you can see in this photo specific pin and disc mill in which the this is the stationary disc and this is the rotating disc this disc provided with the pins you can see these are the pins which are fitted on the disc this is a rotating disc and this is the fixed disc feed material from the hopper to the center in which the specifically provided bottom with this perforated screen to achieve the specific size reduction of the product most is for the cracking of the wheats then grinding of the legumes then coarse milling of the grains cereal milling then creating the specific powders from the sugar etc next one is the size reduction of the dry foods in which the hammer mill hammer mill is applicable for the size reduction of the dry foods then uh, size reduction of the semi solid foods or maybe the size reduction of the gravy based like material in which the basic application is that by application of the impact and uh, slightly shearing force to size reduction is achieved it is consist of the cylindrical chamber this is the cylindrical chamber in which they internally provided the breaking plates these are the breaking means that means the hard uh, plates which are the surfaces uh, corrugated at the bottom provided the screen this screen may be replaced as per our requirement 
may be used as a core screen, fine screen as per our requirement to achieve the final product size in which the centrally rotating the rotors which is connected with the shaft and connected with the electrical motor or the gear system. This rotating rotors provided with the fitted with the hammers. The space between the hammers and the braking plates is very low. Whatever the feed material, this feed material is fit with the control rates. The rotation of the hammers to inside of the braking plates or the inside of the chamber. The feed materials are directly impacted by the hammers and resulting the size reduction is done. And after the size reduction, this material are passed from the screen and resulting we get the specific final food product. You can see in this photo the industry level hammer mills. The application involving in which the milling of the grains, cereal grains, sugar, then dry foods, then a specific uh, crushing of the coconuts, then spices, dry build, used for the dry and wet grinding process both. In which the size reduction of the final product is specifically depending on the, the opening size of the screen, that means the screen which is used at the bottom of that section. As per the screen, we can uh, produce the required size of the final product. Then numbers, size and type of the hammers, specifically uh, number of the hammers present, then uh, internally specific type of the hammers which is connected to the rotors then then internally grinding plates setting that means the specific uh, whatever the internally breaking plates and the specific distance between the hammer and the breaking plates and the speed of the rotation of the rotors these are the main important points with respect to the to achieve the sign final size reduction of the feed product next last one is the roller mill in this roller mill, the basic principle is that material is passed from the two rollers and the compression is achieved and the size reduction is done. Basically in the roller mills, the both rollers at the same diameters operated maybe a same speed or different speed rotate into the opposite directions. You can see in this specific examples in which the power transmission is provided in a single roller and second one is the freely moving distance between the two rollers that is the gap is adjustable as per our requirement depending on the specific feed material properties may be operated into the horizontal position vertical position as per our requirements in which the specifically in uh, serial grain milling processing industry first the roller is used uh, that is the coarse milling rollers which is the surface is rough surface corrugated surface rollers and finally after that shifting process the final rollers which are the smooth rollers used for the final size reduction process in which the base specific application that is the size reduction of the sugar uh, then uh, may be used for the flaking process crushing process and the milling process and the chocolate refining process in this way we can size reduction of the liquid foods or even size reduction of the paste like material size reduction of the dry ingredients is carried out these are the references used for this preparation of this powerpoint presentation what is mean by size reduction basic principles and the application in the food processing industry